Is upgrading your cheap U87 mic really as simple as changing the capsule? Well, today we're going to find out the truth. Hello, people. Joe from Hello Sailor Effects here. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is a bit of a follow up of my U87 clone build, where I took a cheap Chinese microphone, changed the guts, and then also changed the capsule to a studio quality capsule, and then did a sound comparison. Well, lots of people got in touch and asked, did I really need to change the circuit? Well, today we're going to find out. In today's episode, I've created a crazy contraption where I've mounted both a large diaphragm condenser and the original small diaphragm condenser from that cheap Chinese microphone in the same enclosure with the old circuit. And I have this little switch, little bitty switch, that switches between the two capsules. I'm going to test out which capsule sounds best. And just for fun, I'm also going to throw in the cheap Chinese microphone that I modded last time round and my Sontronics STC2. So stay around till the end so you don't miss it. Cheers. This is everything I need for today's episode. I have my makeshift microphone enclosure where I've drilled some holes in the top for our Chinese capsule and our boutique studio capsule whatever and the switch to switch between the two this side we have a hole for our, our, our mount now i've just got a a cheap this is actually the one i come with the chinese um, microphone in the first place i've just snipped off one side of it i'll get rid of that and then i'll just bolt the other side to it that'll be good enough for this i mean it is only for this test and then on the bottom this is where it gets good because of course i made a mistake i always do uh, this is where we're going to attach our XLR and a keen eyed amongst you will know that that is a female XLR and I actually needed a male so I'm going to have to use a double male adapter on this because I don't want to wait around to film this video so there's that out the way then we have our cheap Chinese PCB which I'm sure most of you will be familiar with if you watched my um, microphone mod video linked above now if you haven't watched it it's it's doing all right, doing better than I thought it would. Anyway, then we have our original capsule. This is what passes as a U87 capsule in China. Thank you. And then we have our studio grade large diaphragm capsule. These were quite expensive. I bought two of them. So I've still got that other mic that I used one of them in. And then this, and then I've got a, a mount for that. And that's all she wrote really. Next step will be to mount all of the hardware and capsules onto the enclosure. That's the XLR connection now in place. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and fit the fitting so then it can fit to a mic stand. That's just gonna go on, it's gonna bolt on here as such. Uh, that means that I can go on my stand and I'll be able to conduct the test. So I'll stand now fitted. I'll be able to connect this onto my stand for the test. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and fit the switch reason I'm leaving the capsules to the last is the studio capsule is quite expensive. I'm not going to have a grill around it. Now, I've got a grill to put on this if I choose to keep it as a microphone, which, you know, it's a pretty cool looking shape. Maybe I'll keep it as a microphone in the future, so I will fit the grill then. But, you know, right now, I'm just doing this just to test out the theory. Now that our switch is fitted, I've just come across a first mistake that I've made or problem that I've made is we've got our mountains for our two capsules, but we don't have a hole for the wires to go down. Fantastic, well done, Joe. So the plan is I'm gonna file a little nick in here because I'm in work, I'm duty today. I, I can't drill another hole because I don't have my drill here. So I'll file a little shape out of the top here to run the wires down inside and connect everything up. Uh, and then the back will just go on. I'll heat shrink them, it'll be fine and we'll still get to do our test. There's our small channel cut into our enclosure. That means that I can run my wires inside now through that small gap and we should be good to go. There we have both of our capsules attached with our switch in place, all ready to go for wiring in. Now, this capsule here did not attach the holder very well. In fact, it's horrific, but it will do for our test. Maybe whoever ends up with this microphone in the end could split this down and take this capsule and put it to good use. 
Or maybe they could have it as just this cool Frankenstein weird microphone. Anyway, next I'm going to wire up these capsules to our switch so that Earth and the Live, I don't know if it's called Earth and Live on a, on a microphone, there you go. But the Earth and Live will go to two of the poles on the switch and then the centre lugs or the centre positions, uh, I'll run them off to our PCB. We've got our pause, neg, live, neutral, whatever. I did get picked up in one of my last videos for saying live and neutral, in, no, positive and ground instead of live and neutral, whatever. On a warship, it's all the same thing. One is earth referenced, one is live referenced. Go figure. I'm going to keep talking Navy speak on my channel. So, next I'm going to run these down to the switch and then we'll see where we are. Here we have both capsules wired in. You'll notice that the... This capsule on the left hand side is wired into the right hand side of the switch and then vice versa, the right hand side capsule is wired into the left hand side of the switch. That is simply because when I switch them, right now the switch will be selecting this one and it's pointing in that direction, which means that the lugs on that side of the switch are connected. So if the switch is pointing towards this capsule, then the opposite lugs are connected. I hope that makes sense. That means that when I switch through them, so for the video purposes, when I come to do the test and I switch through them, you'll be able to see which side is connected. Now next, this is where I've come across another fatal flaw in my plan. Firstly, this is our PCB. Loads of space for it inside here. However, I haven't brought anything with me to connect it. Now, I've left two wires on here from when we took it apart on our previous video if you remember so i know which way round to connect our capsule that's fine and we have our three wires here at the bottom that are going to connect to our um to our xlr cable what i'm going to do is i'm going to run solid uh, wire probably component legs from the xlr to this these these pins here and that'll hold the whole thing in place and then I'll run flexible normal wire to our capsules hopefully well maybe I'll do it the other way around that might be easier yeah that'll be easier so I'll run solid wire from the switch to the board that'll hold the board in place and then flexible wire around to our XLR look at that planning on the fly there we have it our PCB is now wired in XLR wired in it's not the neatest, but it will do for this. I've used solid cables to uh, to attach the PCB to the switch. That will suspend it in place. Now, before this goes out to its new owner, I'll probably put uh, a dab of steel reinforced epoxy in there just to hold this in place. Not too much so then the owner can't take it out and remake this into a proper, quote unquote, proper microphone. I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll want to keep it like this. I'm going to get the back on next, get some screws in here, and then reattach our stand holder connection thing. Please write in the comments, someone who knows what this thing's called, because I really don't. Now we've seen how this monstrosity has been built, I would like to put it out there that anyone who presses remix below and shares a part of this video as a short goes into the hat in a drawer to win this dual dual microphone are we calling it that to win this contraption now all you have to do to enter is literally press remix and share as a short and tell me in your short why you think you should be the winner i don't care how many views it gets i don't care if no one sees it at all i just think it's going to be fun and i'm going to announce the winner at the end of the month during the pedal dive podcast i will announce or we'll do a live draw in fact and um, we'll announce the winner then. Hello, people. Joe from Hello Zero Effects here. Hello, people. Joe from Hello Zero Effects here. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be testing this cheap Chinese capsule against this really expensive studio capsule. The problem is, we're using the same circuit that comes with this cheap microphone. The problem is, we're using the same circuit that come with this cheap microphone. Hello, Joe from Hello Zero Effects here. 
Which capsule do you prefer? This is the small Chinese one. This is the Sontronics STC2. This is the cheap Chinese microphone that we modified with a new capsule and a new circuit in our last video.